What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back, doing some casual battles with this brand new Porygon 2 and Crocodile team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys for all the support that has been going out on the videos. I seriously appreciate each and every single one of you guys. But rocking out on this team, we got ourselves Gale Wing Talonflames with Safety Goggles. Dude, Talonflames has been a beast since the Isle of Armor came out. It is so good with that ability. Gale Wings would give it first turn priority with flying moves when it has full health. So we can Tailwind set up with that. We have Flare Blitz for stat damage. Dual Wing Beat instead of uh, Brave Bird, which I actually really, really like because we do not take recoil damage. We could potentially get another first turn priority move and Taunt as its final move. We got ourselves the main heart right here. Crocodile with that life of ground and dark typing. I love this typing. I love the typing so much with lash out, high horsepower, close combat, and protect. Holding that life orb and intimidate to drop physical attack. This thing is going to be an absolute beast. Next Pokemon, we got Porygon 2. Oh my god, if you haven't faced up against a Porygon 2 yet, you have no idea the power of this thing. This thing is so bulky. It's an absolute beast. It has recover on it, trick room, ally switch, and ice beam. I probably would rather have tri attack because that's a normal attack and so we can get stat damage, but ice beam works just as well. Its ability is download. I believe all that does is gives us a special attack boost, which is amazing. So once we pop into battle, we download, we get that special attack boost, and then we roll out from there. And we're also holding that Evo Light for that defense and special defense boost. Fourth spot, we got Amoongus right here. Amoongus, another beast Pokemon. Like, this team is filled with new Isle of Armor Pokemon, and I absolutely love it. Amoongus, like I said, with Regenerator, the Koba Berry, so it can eat up some flying moves with its normal moveset of Rage Powder, Sword Protect, and Pile and Puff to actually give our allies health. Now, in the bottom, bottom two spots, we got Primarina started off Assault Fest, normal moveset with her Hyper Voice, Moon Blast, Energy Ball, and Hydro Cannon. And then in the final spot, we got brand new Aloha Malwak. This thing is so good. It is so good with Fire and Ghost Typing. Flare Blitz, Shadow Bone, Boomerang, and Protect. It has Rockhead as its ability, so it cannot take recoil damage, and Thick Club as its item, so it gets more physical damage. He is like the only Pokemon that thrives from that item. You give it to him, and he gets an attack boost. Guys, you want to use this team for yourself. Front the code is at the bottom of the screen. Shout out to my boy, Tushar, right here. He built this team for me, sent it over to me on my Instagram page. If you guys want to build me teams with new Isle of Armor Pokemon, send them over to my Instagram page, and they have a high chance of me playing them. So shout out to Sashar, dude, thank you so much. But guys, without further ado, let's hop onto that casual ladder and try to get some wins with this Crocodile team. Look at this dude's team going up against a Porygon Z in battle number one. I want to get my hands on one of them to show them off. I cannot wait to show off that Pokemon. He is so cool and he's awesome. I also want to show off like Licky Licky and Tangrowth. I think they're so cool. The Sinnoh evolutions are amazing. But this guy has a swim team, not a swim team, a rain team right here with Politoed and uh, Kingdrum. Kingdra, Swift Swim, Kingdra, Snorlax, maybe? Belly Jump Snorlax, maybe? I haven't really seen Belly Jump in forever. He has uh, Tokia, Scizor, and Porygon Z. Let me see the speeds on these Pokemon before I actually choose, because I'll Trick Room right off the bat. Dude, this thing's so cool, man. This thing's actually pretty fast. So, Trick Room would just be for, uh, more so Malwak. And I, we can go Tailwind. Hmm, how do I want to roll this? I kind of want to go here. I kind of want to go uh, Crocodile on the back end. You know what I'm saying? We could go, or we could go Tailwind. Start taking speed advantage. Let me see. Does this thing have a Tailwind user? It has Swift Swim, and that's the scary part. So I think I might just roll a Trick Room. I'm going to go Porygon 2. And I'm going to go Amoongus, Malwak, and Crocodile. And Crocodile! Let's get rolling here. You know what I actually should have done? I should have played Talent Flame instead of Amoongus. I could have taunted, or I could have just got off a first turn priority, uh, stab Dual Wing Beat, or stab uh, Flare Blitz, and didn't even have to roll the Tailwind. But. The reason I wouldn't pull the trigger on uh, going with the Trick Room is if that's Snorlax, if he's making that a priority. If Snorlax isn't a priority, I'm chilling with it. I'm just going to go into a Trick Room and then roll out with uh, Alola Malak. But he does go right here with this uh, nice, wonderful brain team right here to get rolling. Okay, is going to come out here, dude. Porygon's going to be able to eat, and it's shiny. It looks beautiful. It looks amazing. If you guys want to catch more content from me, you guys already know the deal. Link is in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. We stream four plus days every single week. Come hang out. If you have questions, come ask him over there. But let me check out these stats one more time with these uh, Pokemon real quick. Dude, dude, these guys look amazing. Look at these things. Ooh-wee, yo. This thing's a beast. Special defense, defense, and HP. So good. So good. Same thing with him. Absolute beast. And then we got our big attackers right here coming in hot this thing has nice speed it has nice special defense and it can hit hard dude he looks so cool he looks so cool crocodile looks like an absolute beast but yeah definitely gotta roll that trick room right here so trick room oh yeah trick room yeah yeah and then i could spore or i could rage power 
Then I'm going to Spore over onto that Kingdra and put the thing to sleep because he might actually Dynamax that thing and go for a Max Geyser. We're just gonna go straight for a Helping Hand. Maybe drop a Draco Meteor. Let's see what you got, fool. What are you going for? You're going for a Hydro Pump. Okay. Can Porygon eat this up? I'm thinking he can. Porygon's an absolute beast. Let's see. Make it happen, buddy. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. It is so good. It's an absolute monster. Absolute monster. We roll Trick Room. I can recover out here and actually start doing some damage. We can start doing some damage here. Yeah, Trick Room, baby. Spin those wheels. <laughs> we can spin those wheels all day. Okay, so we got you asleep. I'm just going to recover here, to be honest. And I might actually uh, swap out. I think I'm going to swap out and get... Uh, do I get Malwak in there or Krukadal? As much as I want to get Malwak up in there, I do not at the same time. This is the weather. I'm actually going to get him out there, and I am going to change up the weather. Let's get rolling here. I feel like Politoed is going to go after Porygon. Porygon's going to recover. King's just going to be asleep, and then we just change up the weather. Let's get rolling here. Let's get rolling. I don't mind wasting a turn just to set the flare. It will help me out in the long run. But what you got? Recover coming out. Yay! <laughs> Porygon's an absolute beast. How do you eat up a Hydro Pump in the rain? Stab. Just crazy damage there. Icy Wind comes out. That's going to slow us down, which is uh, totally fine by me. Totally fine by me. Go ahead. Slow us down. Slow us down. So now that I'm the fastest, Malwak is so slow, which is awesome. I'm going to Dynamax and start rolling out from there. Let's get it. We're fast asleep. I could always just swap, but like I said, I'm setting heat. I'm going to recover again and get back to full health with Porygon 2. And go for Max Flare and just change up that weather. I'll send it over on the Kingdra, because the Kingdra just poses a bigger threat in the long run. But what you want, fool? What you want? Let's get rolling. Let's get rolling. I'll change up the weather, and then I'll start going into some uh, bigger stab moves, such as uh, Max Phantasm. Or I have Max Quake, which isn't stab, but I can still do some big old damage with it. Let's get it. Big old Mawak coming out here in battle number one. We got that Trick Room. This thing is a beast in the Trick Room. And then I have that Crooked out in the back, which is actually rather fast. 158, I think his speed was, which is solid, which is solid. Flare coming out. Get it. This will not kill, but like I said, weather change. That's all I wanted. I wanted the weather change. Help me out. It will help me out. But boom, now we got heat. Now we got heat, baby. And then Porygon will go into another recover. I believe we have two turns now in Trick Room. Or not two, three, which is just fine. That is plenty of turns for us to actually start teeing off and doing some work all around. And Porygon will probably be able to survive and keep going out and dominating. But let's see, this thing is still asleep. I will take out the Kingdra now. And I will actually, do I swap? I could swap. I'm going to actually ally switch. And I'm going to go into a Phantasm and take out the Kingdra. Say bye-bye to it, because I do not want it getting a turn. I'd rather the Politoed hit me than the, uh, the Kingdra, because Kingdra's an absolute beast in special attack, and you guys already know. And it's potentially life -free. I can totally see it being life -free. Actually, I am i don't even know, because I didn't check it the first turn. And he does withdraw Politoed, which is amazing. Which is amazing! And he's going to go into Togekiss, which is totally fine. Kingdra wakes up and goes first. Oh, it's protecting you, Biscuit. You little Biscuit! Playing really well. Playing really well. The ally switch comes out. And it legit does nothing. And then Malwax is going to be able to do some damage here. But not enough. Not enough. Because there's protects coming in. Still not bad damage. Not bad damage at all. So Malwax goes first. We obviously know what's coming here. I'm not going to play the ally switch. I feel like he's going to uh, try to read the ally switch. But you know what? I'm going to play the ally switch. I'm going to play the ally switch. I'm going to go for another Phantasm. Where do I go? Yeah, we gotta go for a Phantasm over on you. And then go for another ally switch. And then I just gotta get a Moongus back in here. I, I might want to swap next turn and get a Moongus out here. But yeah, definitely follow me's coming out here. And then Phantasm's gonna do some work over on to that, uh... That, what's it called? The Tokus. But actually, did he go for the follow me or does ally switch just come out before him? Oh, yeah, he goes for follow me. That was an obvious play. An obvious play. This thing's already minus one on the defense board, so he might be able to one-tap it up. Let's see what happens here. And hopefully our, our ally switch comes in clutch and we made the right call. Big old Max Phantasm says, get out of here. Get out of here, kid. Like I said, we I think we have one more turn left in Trick Room. So if I can utilize this to actually take out this uh, King Joe, we should be chilling. Let's see what he goes for. He goes for Hydro Pump. Did my ally switch make the right call? Yes, sir, yo. My boy Porygon is going to be able to eat that up just fine. Just fine. This thing takes life orb damage, and we're fine. Okay, no more trick room. No more trick room. And he's gonna get the rain back out here. So now we're like, eh. Now we're like, okay, what's going on here? Now he's gonna get Polito back out here. And the real call is, I'm gonna try to set another trick room, even though I have Crocodile in the back. I am going to try to set another trick room. I might swap that into my Amoongus. and just play this one slow. 
Quick room, obviously. Do I protect? Or do I just go straight to Moogus? I kind of just want to protect. Yeah, I'm 100% protecting this turn. We'll get rolling with that. Protect. I don't think he has any first turn priority moves. He's just a beast. He's just a beast. And we are both playing so good right now with the swap in, swap outs, and the protects. Like, let's get it. So what is he going to do? He is not going to Dynamax. I think he's going to go Helping Hand into another uh, Hydro Pump. No, we just go straight for a Hydro Pump, which I think Porygon he can eat up. Let's go, Porygon. Eat that up, buddy. I love you, Porygon. Porygon's going to go last. So what is Skull going after? Skull's going after Porygon. Porygon, eat that up. Ah, no! No, please! God dang it, man. Not this. Are you kidding me? Okay, that's fine. Hmm. I think best bet for me would be to get this Kingdra out of the way. So, with all that going on, I think we just go into a Rage Powder. And then, we go into a Shadow Bone or something like that. Hmm. Let me read these moves. User attacks by beating on target with a bone that contains... Okay, that lowers that. Okay. Double hit. Uh, Shadow Bone's probably your best bet. Higher accuracy. Just take out the Kingdra. Am I right or am I right? Yeah. Because once I get my Crocodile up here, he should be able to outspeed everybody except for that Kingdra. Did he show all the Pokemon? He had Polito, Kingdra, Togekiss, and then who else? Draco Meteor coming here. Hey, yo, leave me alone! Sending Draco Meteors before he goes out. That's silly fine. Amoongus eats up just dandy, just fine. I can actually swap and get some more health back if I really want to. Actually, would have been nice to probably go after that Polito. But nah, we chillin', we chillin'. Amoongus eats, and he's chillin'. I love you, Amoongus. Shadow Bone comes out. Boop! Big old damage, yo, my dude, Malwak coming in clutch, dude, ooh, we're feeling good, we're feeling good, but I gotta remember, he still does have a Dynamax, he still does have a Dynamax, which is a little scary, which is a little scary, and he's gonna go into Snorlax, which is his final Pokemon, so luckily we did not go Trick Room, luckily we did not go Trick Room, hmm, what am I thinking, I'm thinking of sporing this thing, putting that to sleep, and then, uh, going after that Polytoad, right? Hmm. Yeah, stab Shadow Bone. Going into Polyto. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it. What you want? See what happens. Icy Wind comes out. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. Amoongus is probably going to die. 18 health. Perfected. Uh, Amoongus does go down. The so Malwak. Who is going to go first? Malwak or Snorlax? It's a crit on my Malwak. What you mean? I think actually Snorlax will go first because we're minus two. We are minus two. He's going to go for Darkest Larry. Oh, that might take me out. I think that's going to take me out. Leave me alone! It does, yo. It dumps on me. What you mean? What you mean? Yo, both of us are playing so good. I got my final mind. I got Crooked out in the back end. Come on, Crooks. Come on, Crooks. I need you here. Okay, so Crooked is going to pop out here. And what are the plays that I do? What are the plays I got to do? Big old Intimidate comes out. That's big for the Snorlax as he's physical attacking. I got that life orb. Hmm. I definitely have speed advantage. Go for high horsepower. Lash out. Use your lashes out in the vent, but, but if its stats were lowered during the turn, the power of the move is double. Oh. So if I think they're going for a stat lowering move, he goes for an icy one, but no, we outspeed. We outspeed. I'd rather go for a high horsepower. And uh get this polytone up. Yeah, he saw his Dynamax, right? Yep. Here it goes. He's gonna Dynamax the Snorlax. And I'm hoping close combats can do some big old damage, but this thing is bulky. I don't think we have this match. I, I think match one's going to be a loss for us, guys. Oh, no, he goes probably Toad. Hold up. Wait a minute. But I still think he dumps on me. I think he goes second. He eats up this uh, high horsepower, and then he just geysers into me. Look at this big old poly Toad, guys. High horsepower. Yeet. Not bad damage. Not bad damage, baby. Come on, Crooked out. Eat this one up. Nah, no way. Not a chance, yo. GG. We go 0-1 in the first battle. This should take me out, right? Yeah. Game over. Game over. I think both of us played very, very well. We made a bunch of different swaps and everything, but he ended up picking up that big win in, in the end. I feel like if we would have got off, off that trick room, we potentially could have won that match, but let's hop into battle number two and try to get our first win for this video. Second battle coming at you guys. This guy has a full Isle of Armor team with Luxray, Zoro, Crocodile, Dragology, Sand Slash, Normal Sand Slash, and Drudgegon. Ooh wee, ooh wee. Okay, how are we gonna roll out with this one? Definitely Trick Room, right? Definitely Trick Room here. We can definitely uh, take Speed Advantage and roll that Trick Room. So I'm gonna go Porygon. I definitely wanna bring Malwak and uh, do I wanna bring Crocodile? Or should I go Talonflame turn one? I kinda wanna bring Crocodile. 
I feel like if the Intimidate comes out here, that's fine. We can lash out and do some work. Or uh, the Luxray, we can take it out with a uh, with a high horsepower. So we're going to go Crocodile turn one. We're going to bring Malwak and I think Primarina or Amoongus. Uh, Primarina is definitely going to come in here. It has water. It has fairy. Oh, my God. Get in here, Primarina. You're going to do some work here. You're super effective to the Crocodile, to the Drudgeon, to the Jagalgy, to the Sand Slash. Oh, my God. Primarina might have to be our Dynamax Mon. Or we can just roll Hyper Voices. It's up to me. It's up to me. And we have Moon Blast as well. But once I get this Trick Room rolling, I feel like we should be able to just roll out here and dominate the second battle. But 0-1, that last match was long. We played very, very well. That guy played very, very well, too. And we ended up losing. But he goes Luxury and Jigalji. I love Jigalji. We used him in the last video. If, I, if you haven't checked out that video, go check it out. Go show it some love. We're going to get a nice little Intimidate drop over onto that uh, Luxury, so it's going to do less damage. And he cannot hit me with a Stab Watch move, which is nice. Jigalji's attack drops, but they're special attacking. Intimidate comes here. And it's going to drop my my attack. And this thing probably not going to protect. Probably not going to protect. And I don't think it uh, sees my speed. Or how fast my Crocodile actually is. So let's go here. Let's go for that Trick Room. Get rolling with that. And then go into a high horsepower. And just uh, get after that Luxury. But the Luxury might protect. I was thinking it might protect. But it, it doesn't have guts. So maybe it won't. Maybe it won't. And we'll just drop a high horsepower into it. There we go. Beautiful. Crocodile out speeds. We say bye bye Luxray. Oh it survives man. I thought it was totally dead. I thought it was totally dead. He goes for a Thunder Wave. And it... Pfft, on my Crocodile? What you doing, buddy? What you doing? He goes for an Aqua Tail on my Crocodile. My Crocodile eats that up all day because that's no stab damage for him. And we get off this lovely Trick Room. This lovely Trick Room. So Porygon goes first. Uh, I am going to drop a nice little Ice Beam over on that Luxray. I'm going to go home, kid. Take that thing out. And then I could just go for a Lash Out. Nah, I feel like High Horsepower. Oh, it's super effective. This algae. We got Poison and Dragon. Poison and Dragon. I always think it's Water. I always think it's water. But dude, Crookedow, get him. Aquatel comes out here. Oh, yes, Crookedow. Avoids attack. I love you. Ice Beam's going to be able to actually take out the uh, Luxray. And I can't believe the Jigalji sword in my pool. Bruh. Or does Aquatel just have first turn priority? I'm not too sure, but we coming in hot. We coming in hot. Bye-bye, Jigalji. Get it out of here. Get it out of here, yo. We running battle number two already. Trick Room's up. Crookedow is fast. He is so fast. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yo, look at his, his color. So cool. The shiny one looks dope, too. Isn't he, like, yellow or he's, like, a cream color? It just looks... Mm, it looks fire. It looks fire. But he's going to send out Crocodile of his own. And my Crocodile is going to tee off on that one. And a Sand Slash. And a Sand Slash. Okay, that's totally fine. And I am actually going to... Uh, well, the Intimidate is going to come out here again. Double Intimidate, man. You whack. You whack. I'm just going to let uh, Crocodile go down here, to be honest with you. I drop a nice little Ice Beam over on the Sand Slash. And get after his crocodile with a uh, big old close combat. Let's get it. What you want? You gonna Dynamax, buddy? I feel like he's Dynamaxing. Dynamax that crocodile. What you want, fool? What you want? <laughs> Here goes the Dynamax. It's gotta be a crocodile, right? Or are we gonna see a big old sand slash? That'd be pretty nice. Let's see what happens here. He goes giant. Alligator man right here. Look at him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yo, his nose is hilarious. His nose is hilarious. And he's probably going to drop a uh, Max Knuckle, maybe. Or a Max Quake for stab. Let's see what happens. Ice Beam comes out. We're going to do a little bit of damage over on that Sand Slash. Won't do too, too much. Oh, my God. It did a heaping amount. It did a heaping amount. Jeez. Jeez, man. He sets the Sandstorm. My Crocodile will thrive under that thing. And a close combat is going to roll out here. I think my Crocodile on speed, right? No, his Crookedown outspeeds. Okay. I was going to say, are these things EV trained? But if that thing outspeeds my... Oh, no, we're in Trick Room, so never mind. Oh, this thing's definitely EV trained. If it did that, if it just did that to my Porygon, they're definitely EV trained. I think dumped on my Porygon. Oh, no, it hit my Crookedown. I thought I hit my Porygon. All right, never mind. Never mind. I was going to say, you kill that Porygon in one shot. Jeez, man. And I'm just going to finish up this match. We don't even need to have the Dynamax. We don't have to do it. I'm just gonna hyper voice. I'd rather hyper voice you. And just and just play the ally switch. And maybe pick up the double kill. Go ally switch. And then roll into a hyper voice, which will be double super effective and hitting both of these mons. Let's get it. And then if we do not kill, we should be fine. Because the sand slash will go down. Crookedile might not go down, but we still have a Pokemon in the back end and we still have our Dynamax as well. Which I don't even think we have to use it. I don't even think we have to use it. We're gonna be teeing off here. Hyper voice comes out. Yeet! We do not take out Crocodile. This thing's a little bit bulky here. But we take it on the half health. And I feel like it, it's going after my Primo Arena slot. So, Porygon might, might be able to eat this one up. Let's see what happens. 
Who's he hitting? That's, nope, hit my Prima Marina. We swapped. We swapped that out. That was actually the better swap. The better swap right there. Hits my Prima Marina. It's not very effective. And we get the special defense drop. It's okay. That is going to be game. That is going to be game. Prima Marina outspeeds. Porygon outspeeds. Hyper, all I need is Prima Marina is to land another Hyper Voice. And it's GG. And we take one and one with this team. Let's go. What you want, fool? Hyper Voice. Yeah, yeah. Ice Beam. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Send it. I told you, Prima Marina is going to be clutch. Prima Marina is just super effective to like all of his Pokemon. He's going to cancel. He does not. Porygon comes out with an Ice Beam. Ooh, Porygon's doing some big work over here. That Ice Beam. Hyper Voice comes out. And yo, GG. Let's get it. Like I said, one and one with this team. Now we can hop into our third and final battle and try to get a winning record. Yo, this team is so much fun. This team is so much fun. I'm loving the Crocodile, loving the Porygon, and I'm loving the Alolan Malwax. Trying to get that winning record against a Gore Guys team right here. He has Urshifu, Rillaboom, potential G-Max Rillaboom with Grassy Goliath, Togekiss, Intimidate Arcanine, or it could be the uh, Justified Arcanine with Beat Up Whimsicott. Could be that, and then Whimsicott as his Tailwind Setter. Um, do I? I think I just rolled Trick here. I feel like Trick Room just kind of can just roll here again. I think we go Trick Room, Alolan Malwak. Yo, we, we rolling, we rolling. We're going Trick Room once again, yo. I'm loving this team. Do I go Alolan Malwak turn one? I could protect, or I'd rather go Amoongus. I'd rather go Moongus, make sure I get off this Trick Room here. Bring in Malwak, and then have Crocodile just way, way in the back. For that uh, last turn, maybe speed. But if he goes Arcanine here, that can be that can be a little tough. Well, I would just Rage Powder. I would take a Moongus' life for, what's it called? For Porygon to get that Trick Room off. Because then my Malwak can roll in here. Slap up on everything. Get rolling with that. Come on, baby. I want that winning record. I want to go 2-1 with this team. So who's gonna go? He's gonna go Whimsicott and Tokus. Okay. I'm fine with it. He might Dynamax his Tokus and uh, try to do some big damage. Maybe go. Oh, he might go for that Airstream. So I am gonna actually Rage Powder here. He might Taunt as well. He might Taunt. Let's see what happens here. Let's go Rage Powder. And then Trick Room. So I think Rage Powder should come out before everything. So if he wants to Taunt, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. As long as I get off the Trick Room, like I said. And I can pile and puff around and stuff. <laughs> Amoongus is so good. I think it's so underrated just because of its looks, but it is so good and competitive considering it learns Spore. I think only two Pokemon learn Spore, and I think it's Breloom and Amoongus, and it's 100% sleep. Like, come on. The reason it's 100% is because it's, uh, they're so slow, so you gotta, like, kind of take advantage of them. But I feel like this, uh, Koba Berry is gonna come in clutch with the, uh, with the Max Airstream or the Air Slash kind of thing. So here goes our Rage Powder, our lovely Rage Powder. The Trick Room will definitely get up here. Taunt's gonna come in here. Yes, yo, I knew it. I knew it. Taunt comes in here, and it goes against my Amoongus, not my Porygon. And Air Slash comes in as well, and we can eat our Koba Berry and just eat that up. Just free turns, baby. Just free turns. That was gonna do a decent amount of damage and maybe make us flinch. But we did one with the Rage Powder. Trick Room comes out. Yeet. Yo, Porygon, too, spins his little, like, feet or something. It's hilarious. It's hilarious. Okay, so now that we got Speed Advantage, we're chilling here. We can definitely go for an Ice Beam. I don't want to get that one out of the way. I kind of want to swap you. Get your health back. Hmm. Are they really going to go after a Porygon? That's the real question. I think an Air Slash is going to come out here. I'm just going to... Uh, I'm just going to play. I'm, I'm taunted. I gotta, I'm got i going to double up into this one, Scott. I am going to double up into this one, Scott. I think they're going after the Moongus, no problem. I think that's the play. And if they take out... Ooh. Okay, he swaps one Scott and it goes into Rillaboom, which uh, Ice Beam's gonna come through on that, and then a nice little uh, Pollen Puff. Pollen Puff might be super effective. I totally forget. <laughs> Is Bug super effective to grass? I'm having a brain moment. I'm having a small brain moment. Pollen Puff comes out. Yeah, it is super effective. See, I thought so. Doing a decent amount of damage, not too bad. Ice Beam's gonna come out here as well. And we're gonna say Yay yeah, and get some big old Ice Beam damage from this poor guy, dude. Thing hits like a truck and then heat wave comes out and that's gonna do some nice damage to my moongi and porygon's gonna eat up just fine no critical hit on my porygon uh, i feel like real boom protects no lie i feel like real boom might protect or he might come into a grass guy so i'm gonna throw the ice beam over there and then i'm just going to uh palm pop over onto the the tokus so let's go ice beam get that rolling just in case he doesn't protect and then palm pop over onto you do i even palm pop over onto him I just gotta do a little bit of damage. I'm taunted. I cannot go into anything besides Pump Pump, or I can swap out. But I actually could have swapped into my Malwak. I think that was the call. That should have been the call. But if Real Boom doesn't protect, we get Porygon out the way. Or not Porygon, we get Real Boom out the way, and Porygon's chilling just fine. 
Porygon is so good. Like, why is this thing so good? And he's Dynamax and Tokus? Or don't you dare tell me he's Dynamax and Moldy. That'd be a dumb move. That'd be a dumb, dumb move. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, there it goes. Tokus coming in. And Amoongus is definitely going to go down here. He might actually set the heat. I don't know. He's either going to set the heat or he's going to go for a uh, airstream. Let's see what happens here. Let's just see what happens here. Little Boom does not protect. We get off a nice little pop up on that. Look how much damage we do. Poo poo damage. Ice Boom comes out. Little Boom, get out of here, kid. Get out of here. And I feel like uh, the airstream or the flare is going to come out here and take out my Amoongus, which I'm totally fine with. Amoongus already did his job. It did his work. I'm ready to get in a uh, Pokemon like a Lola Malwak to do some work. It, while the trick room's still coming. Yep, bye bye, Mookus. Thank you so much for coming out. Thank you so much for coming out. So let's get it. He gets a crit, dude. What you mean? <laughs> what you mean he gets a crit? It was taking me out regardless. It's no big deal. Okay, so two turns left in trick room? I believe so. I believe so. Let's go, Mawak. I wish you could check how much uh, turns you had left in like your trick room and all that from here. But he could set the flare. I would love for him to actually set the flare. That'd be cool. With That'd be so cool with him. Get it, Malwak. Get it, baby. Earth Crew comes out as well. Hmm. Hmm. This thing might be weak this policy, so I don't really want to trigger that thing with that. I'm going to go... Actually, I'm going to ally switch here. I'm going to ally switch for sure. I'm going to go into a... Uh, I'm going to a flare. I set the heat for myself. I think I set the heat for myself. Yeah, we're going to go after Stokus. Set the heat. And then uh, potentially go into another max player after that. First food's looking a little scary, but I feel like uh, this ally switch is going to come up clutch. I think it's going to be big dog ally switch. And if it is that water Urshifu, I can't really tell right now. If it is the water Urshifu, then we're setting the heat, and that will actually neglect some of the water damage, which will be lovely. It will just be just dandy. But get it, Malawai. Get it, big dog. I love his typing. His typing is so cool. Ghost and fire. I think like the only other Pokemon like that is like Chandelure. Unless I uh, can't even think of any of them right now. Chandler's type night. Nice. Alex Switch. Let's again. Alex Switch is so good. It's so good. It's too good. And here goes our flare. We're gonna set the uh, the weather. The yeah yeet. Do a do a big chunk of damage. Do a big chunk of damage with this Malwak. And now we got weather control. Let's get it. He's gonna go into Surgeon Strikes. Beautiful, beautiful. It is a water Urshifu. And this is gonna do poo poo damage over onto my Porygon Z. Look at that. Three crits, yo. That's light work. Porygon's gonna eat that up all day. All day. We got the heat going there. Mm. And Porygon's just a bulky little mon. Bulky little mon here. Urshifu's gonna take life orb damage, which I'm cool with. And the flare's gonna come out as well over onto. Okay, this side, which I should be just fine. Yep, beautiful. Okay. Do I predict. Oh, you get a crit again? What you mean? Do I predict the, uh, the protect? Hmm. Do I predict the protect? How should I play this? I kind of want to predict the protect. But then at the same time, I do not. But I definitely want to go into a Phantasm and take out Urshifu. And I'm just going to recover. Well, how many turns left in Trick Room? Do we have one? We do have one. Okay, that's fine. You know, I'm just going to go for an Ice Beam. I'm just going to go for an Ice Beam over on Togekiss. What do you want, fool? We're plus one. We can do some big old damage to you. Let's see what happens. I I'm thinking he's guarding. That's why I'm, I'm letting my Malwak tee off on the Urshifu. And seeing how that plays out. And then once Trick Room ends, I don't know if I actually get up another Trick Room. I'm going to see just see how everything rolls out here. He does not protect. The Phantasm comes out. Can we pick up the KO, please? Thank you very much. Big Dog Malwak coming up. But yeah, now I got to make a decision whether to actually Dynamax. Or whether to actually set the Trick Room. Because Krugadal is fast. Krugadal is very fast. Ice Beam comes out. Can Ice Beam KO? Does not. Give me the Freeze. Give me the, give me the Crystal Freeze. Bro, what you mean? Fire comes out over on my Porygon slot. Yeah, that's, uh, I'm cool with it. Dude, Porygon eats, yo. He's a tank. Thing's an absolute tank. Um, hmm. I think I just ally switch an Ice Beam. And I do not set the trick in. This Crookedile should be able to roll out here and do some absolute big old work. He brings in one Scott. I'm not too worried. He might actually set the Tailwind. It's totally fine. I'm not even worried about that. I think we got this one pretty much wrapped up. I think we got this one wrapped up. Dude, how good is Porygon? He's amazing. He is amazing. Uh, I don't even... Uh, yeah, let's just go into an Ice Beam. We only have the Ally Switch here. We're totally fine. This Whimscon is not doing nothing. He stinks. He stinks, man. He a hunk of junk, guys. Whimscon's going to taunt. That's totally fine. We're going for an Ice Beam, baby. We're going for an Ice Beam. You can taunt me all day. That's something comes out here. We eating fine, and that might just wrap it up. That might wrap it up. 
Another crit? Another double crit? What you mean? This thing's just critting up for sure. Ice Beam comes out. We can say bye bye to Tokus. It's gone. And if this thing is not Sash, it's GG. It's GG. Big old Max Flare stab in the drought. I'm thinking it's probably a Sash. But yo, 2 and 1 with this team. 2 and 1 with this team. Let's get it. It is Sash. That's totally fine. Just quit the battle. Call quits, big dog. You lost. You lost. And we still have a giant crocodile in the back end. Ah, it feels good to win. It feels good to win. <laughs> Dude, I cannot believe how bulky Porygon 2 is. It's absurd. It is absurd how bulky it is. And you guys know it. Like, everyone thought Duskops were bad. This thing is so much more bulky. It is ridiculous. And everyone was like, oh my god, Duskops is too bulky. Like, Porygon 2? This thing's where it's at. We're going to a player, but we take no recoil damage, which is awesome. And then I'm going to just drop an Ice Beam. And we're chilling. We're chilling. Battle was canceled. There we go. Let's get it, guys. 2-1 with this team. We rocked out and dominated that final battle. We rocked out with this Isle of Armor Trick Room team. Yo, this was so much fun. I love every single Pokemon on this team. Krugodile, so much fun to use. Porygon 2, like I said, it's absolute bulky boy. Amoongus, so good. Talonflame, you guys already know about Talonflame. I don't even think we use them in the videos. But still, we showed up Talonflame plenty of other times. And then Malwax, an absolute beast, yo. Shout out to my boy Tishar one more time for sending me in this team. I really appreciate it, and I love the team so much. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everyone.